still being processed here. So they actually do. You can sort of see there's a little bit of a red hue. Once the processing is finished, which is just about this time of year, the buds for next year actually start coming out. So that's where you see that red hue on the bogs right now that are dry. Is it's next year's vine and bud uh, preparing for the winter. We do have to prepare for the winter. Yeah, let's look to the left here. I see trucks out there. Let's see what they're up to. Yeah, there's fog. There's a, that pond of water there is what they use to irrigate when they need to. See any flooded bogs at this point. It's just about, uh, look on the right. So that one is flooded, but it looks like they've already scooped up everything from it. And you see all these piles of sand here. Cranberries love sand and we are very close to the Cape and this whole area here is all very sandy soil. So cranberries love it here. Rhododendrons, hydrangeas, these are the kind of plants that actually can and love to grow in sandy soil. So that's what you'll see here. The bogs are only about, two, I'm gonna say about two feet deep maybe three feet at the most. What you see on the commercial when those guys are standing there and the waiters, that's uh, real life. That's about how deep it is. The guys that come out here and stand in those bogs and process the cranberries, they have their waiters that go just over their waist, but they never really get that, uh, it never gets that deep.